To the Audubon Women in Conservation, uh, I know we spend a lot of time thinking about the fact that a lot of the things we fought for and thought we won are now under attack. And there's a lot of uh, sound and fury about things that are going to be rolled back, and some will. I mean, it, this is not all rhetoric. Um, but I think the time calls for uh, the kind of reaffirmation of values and things and principles that we all stand for. What does it mean to be a conservationist? How universal that value really is in the, in the psyche and sort of the American spirit, if you will. And then a determination of how best to, to fight. Because if you don't see the path forward to, to re-win those battles, even if it means that you lose for a minute, but you're going to come back and re-win, then you don't have hope. And if you don't have hope, then you know, there's nothing keeping you going. So we're at a moment where we have to realize our power. We have to uh, sort of realize our resolve. You know, it's not the right time to be tired. <laughs> you know, I think people find your, you know, favorite heroine or hero. Obviously, Rachel Carson's a good one. But in some ways, people who have had to go through the cycles of this, you know, if you talk to any conservationist, any environmentalist, they'll say, yeah, I remember some tough times. And then we fought back. I think I would probably borrow a line from my current employer and say, you're more powerful than you think. Use that power. If there's ever a time to use it, it's now. If it's ever a time for your voice, your pocketbook uh, to be, you know, present, it's now.